take a look at these photos taken by a surfer who found more than waves in the ocean off the streets of Santa Monica. The amount of trash on our beaches and in the ocean seems to only be getting worse and worse. Some residents say they aren't even comfortable taking their children to local beaches anymore, certainly not to visit, and they certainly don't want to swim there. But one local teacher, the man in those photos, is Benjamin Kay, a marine biologist and a science instructor at good old Santa Monica High. How are you doing today, Robert? I, I'm, I'm depressed after looking at those photos, to be honest with you. You know, we, we look out, you know, on a normal day as we're driving on PCH and you see this beautiful ocean. But, but far away, there are these trash heaps, if you will, a vortex that's floating around there. Describe that to me. Well, uh, it's known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And what we have is a wind-driven um, and the Coriolis effect, wind and the Coriolis effect causes cent this rotation, this clockwise rotation in the North Pacific Ocean. It's called the North Pacific Gyre. And it causes a swirling effect and things tend to concentrate and pool in that area. Am I correct in when I understand that one of those heaps of trash is as big as Texas? Um, well, it's, it's not really. That's uh, A lot of the marine scientists and environmentalists were, were trying to revise that statement. It's actually twice the size of Texas, oh. and it's um, not exactly an island. It's been described as an island of trash, and people think you can go out there and walk on it, but it's really just kind of like a, a confetti of different plastics uh, smeared all over the place. From all over the world, or what's between us and Japan, if you will? That's right. It's, it's mostly... Uh, things from the United States and Japan and China, all that stuff kind of swirling together. And it's very possible that you can find a Japanese lighter, say, in Hawaii, uh, or vice versa, something from the state's mainland. And Benjamin, besides it being, you know, ugly and, and ruining our environment, I understand that now this trash is going up on some of the smaller islands near Hawaii. What's the effect of that? That's right. All the islands in the, in the Pacific are at risk here. Um, we have plastics that are coming ashore but also uh, causing trouble for marine life in, in the waters. Okay. And um, they're washing up on the beach. They're washing up um, on our shores here uh, in the States, as, a w as well as these islands. Well, yes. this movement in front of you right now is a way to start talking about solutions. But before right. we get to what's right here on the table, is a solution possible, or has the damage been done to our oceans? Well, solutions, a lot of people say, hey, let's go out there with a big net and just go back and forth and collect all this stuff. You, Let's do that. You could, I like that. Well, it sounds good in theory, but you'd kill a lot of innocent organisms, one, and, and two, it'd probably take over a lifetime to go across, you know, an area that's twice the size of the United States. Uh, so that's not really a feasible, uh, viable option for us. But we can uh, stop the pollution from the point source. And so we can switch to reusable products, for instance. Okay, and let's talk about that difference. in front of sure. us, the things that we can do to make us, you know, proactive here sure okay well this is a, a glassware this is called snapware and it just it's a snap lid with a glass i had my my brownies in this one today um and glass is benign there's no chemicals that leach out of it this and is reusable a, yes check and one. reusable check this is a bamboo plate that i i keep in my lunch uh bag which is also reusable and this cuts down on plastic cutlery smart S speaking of plastic cutlery this is to go where these are bamboo um utensils and so if I'm having Chinese or Japanese I can use my bamboo chopsticks and uh, yeah. all to be used over and over again including your napkin there exactly the napkin is you know, cuts down on paper waste this is a Chico bag developed by a friend Andy Keller and his bag uh, you can fit this in your pocket in your purse in your backpack and you can take it to the store because some of our local jurisdictions like Santa Monica have banned the banned the bag and LA is considering a bag ban as well. Sure. Uh, so this is a, a nice, nice bag, uh, and uh, parents should use this for trick or treating. Well, the thirty first trick or treating, going to the grocery store, carrying your lunch to school, carrying your books to That's school. Good. Make sure your kids have that. One on. of my all time favorites because of all the chemicals that are in plastic. Uh, this one is is uh, benign in terms of the leaching of chemicals. This is a reusable canteen by Clean Canteen, and there's other ones by Eco Usable and Sig that producing these fantastic reusable things. So Benjamin, the, the, the goal for you all right now is to try to get the word out to people, to, to, to try and think this way, to understand that there's not just that one vortex that we're talking about in the Pacific, of that trash circling about. There, there's three of them, if I'm correct. Well, there's actually five major ocean gyres, and there's even... Getting more depressed. Yes, well, the, it's depressing. 
some of my friend researchers have just recently from the Five Gyres Institute have gone around to these five gyres and demonstrated that there was plastic in every single major ocean gyre. So it's not just a local crisis, it's become an international crisis. But, from, yes. but the best thing we can do is to get involved and, and certainly well, with you leading the way in Santa Monica, one of our uh, cleaner and more green cities. And yeah. I'm glad you're spreading the word to that high school. We do live in a green mecca. One of the important things is to also get um, legislators involved in possibly curbing our, our plastics uh, at the, uh, you know, from the top down. Um, like Julia Brownlee, our assemblywoman, she's going to be coming out with a, That's good. Uh, an assembly yeah. bill, which is to ban single-use plastic bags for our state. It's but also the individual. Spread. The individual. And so let's important. leave it at that. Individuals yeah. get involved. Make that you know, a goal this weekend to at least pick up one of these products and, and make it part of your life. Yeah, Benjamin totally. Kay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very much for having me, Robert. Yeah, cheers, man.